Alright guys, with the elimination out of the way, there's, uh, now uh, we have, uh, some things to announce. So, announcing this. So now we have a final two. It's, uh, Cork versus Pokebook. Uh, it's ODX Burst versus Chatterzard, or Charizard, or Charizard 915. He doesn't really have much of a consistent name, but that's not a problem. So, this is now the finale, and I have one big thing to announce, and then the challenge, or challenges. So, the winner of an animate circuit will win $60. $60 sent to you by either mail, or or through Steam games, worth uh, almost, or a little bit over $60, or... Or through uh, uh, online, uh, so maybe we could figure out how to do it online through an online transaction. So, so now that that pretty exciting announcement is uh, underway. It, now that now that there's a lot more stakes instead of just prestige for being the one that winning that want wins. Now where we got uh now we have a. Uh, now we have some challenges, so so there's multiple challenges for the finale. There's four that give you a ten out of ten, and then at the end, I'll I'll, I'll tell you what this is. So your first challenge is oh shit. Well, hold on. I th this wasn't meant to be the this wasn't really meant to be a challenge. Shit, I, I kind of made this the end challenge that <laughs> makes you convince your 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 people to vote for you, and you don't you don't really get a score for it. Oh shit! Now I need to think of something right here, right now. Oh shit! Hmm. Eh, screw it. Let's just uh, change this to. 0 0.75 to compensate for the lack of this challenge. So, yeah, alright, let's, with that awkward moment out of the way, uh, just don't mind this. Please don't mind this. So with that, that little awkward bit out of the way, uh, hmm. Alright, so this, this is, uh, so these are the three challenges but with the fourth extra one. So, the challenge A is to draw a picture of, y of you and your op final other finalist facing off. Any style or type of picture is acceptable. You get a rating out of 10, so make a drawing out of, uh, on some sort of software. I recommend Fire Alpaca, it's what I use. It's free, and it's pretty good. So, uh, your challenge B, uh, so you rate, you rate it, uh, you get a rating out of 10 based on how good your drawing is. So basically what you do is, like, make a picture where you're, like, I don't know, in a stance, you're both in a stance, you're, you're, you're looking at each other all angry, trying to, trying to look like the one who's got to win. Uh, your challenge B is to take the areas away, take the areas from these images and fortify them. To install or halt the in invading army. So the, that those are these pictures. I'll show you them again in a bit. So just for a little context. Uh, do what you want with the area. Add traps, add armies, do certain things. Use the geography to your advantage. Especially do this. Use the geography to your advantage. That's something that you'll get points for. Uh, and other creative things are recommended. Just stay realistic, so don't do, like, bullshit. So put symbols, uh, like, shapes on the images to represent the, the things you are def uh, using you to defend the areas. I'll show you the example. So these are the pictures. You're supposed to fortify these areas to make, or, or just set them up to make it hard, really hard for this inv enemy invading army to get to your territory. <clears throat> So you got so you got the enemy invading here, some naval support from here, and they're trying to get here. So you can use th everything provided in this picture, and some things that you you can just think of, like 
like like an army or some sort of ship or some sort of resource that isn't here but like keep it realistic don't do something crazy and don't do something that that shouldn't be in available to you and so here is the invade enemy invades here they're trying to cr cross this river and they will use this forest for wood for a bridge and they're trying to get right here so you gotta you gotta try to stall them for as long as possible you gotta try to s stall them and so this one the enemy invades here this is meant to be a little cliff like the one in pokemon a little drop and they're trying to get here these are tulu hills there's a lake here and here are the images without text so you can take screenshots and and have not the text not get in the way. So here, here, here. Uh, let me do that again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. All right. Uh, here's an example using a random clip I found online. So they're coming from here. The bridge is damaged to break with too much pressure. There's military troops to block the bridge, but not that much to uh, break the bridge though. Uh, there's an explosive set up here to uh, blow up the path. An ambush squad hiding in the rocks and the bushes here. Uh, and the, these rocks are moved over here to block the path. And they're trying to get here. So that's going to be pretty difficult. So do something like that. Alright, so remember, despite the recommendations, you can do whatever you want as long as it's within reason. So, the third challenge, uh, challenge, uh, come up, come up with a slogan to represent yourself. I think I'm, I'm gonna add something, I, I gotta add something, uh, hmm, I, I mean, it's supposed to be out of, it's supposed to be out of 40 and then adding whatever this is. Well, I'll see if I can do that later. So your challenge D is to make a speech about why you should win. No points. This will be used by the eliminated players to see why you should win. Point seventy plus point seventy five for every eliminated contestant vote. It's originally going to be plus one. I think I might still do that. Mm, hold on. I, I'm I'm just going to do what I did before. Uh, Plus one for every eliminated contestant vote, and I will give you a score out of ten based on my opinion because you know, as the host, my opinion of the of your speech should matter. But I won't reveal my score uh, for your for your thing until after the eliminated contestants vote. So after until after the results that we get back. and I, I won't re re reveal my results until the fi fin finals. So basically, the semi-finals will be uh, your your scores for these challenges showed up, and your speech will be shown, and the eliminated contestants will vote on, and you will get one point for each vote about on uh, what they... You'll get one point per vote uh, for the eliminated contestants that vote for you, and you can do whatever you want to get them to vote for you, but... But eliminated contestants, you, you, they also got to vote for themselves. Uh, uh, ch uh, so they, they we're also giving them some resources like the tribute video and your scores in these uh, competitions that they can use as a base to vote. Remember, you're not voting right now. You're voting in the semifinals, which will come out as soon as you're done with these challenges. And also, there's... Uh, one thing, uh, Charizard, Char, uh, gets a plus three point boost for winning this last challenge. Alright, uh, and, and you get, uh, so one pl plus one point, and I'll rate this out of ten, but to not bias the, 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 their thoughts of the speech, I won't show my score for the speech until after the, the, the votes are revealed too. Well, before the votes are revealed, but then but not until that the the finale and bonus points this is just a silly little thing uh cork you got to paint a book to look like pokey book using like i don't know orange or red paints or if you have a marker that works well enough on a book or if you have a book that's that works well enough with a marker 
that's acceptable too. But you, most books uh, that won't look that won't appear vivid enough. It has to be clear and and the the original title of the book and the original things of the book cannot be seen. So you basically have to vandalize some random book. It can it can be a it can be a regular book. It can be whatever you want and. Pokey book. You have to find a cork and put a corkscrew on it. I mean, I mean, for you this might be easier than it is for me, but I don't have any corkscrew and I don't have any paint, so I don't know. I thought it would be fun. Eh, it's only two points, not that big of a deal. All right, so this is this is it. This is this is it for you. This, you've gotta you've gotta do this. This is it's time. It's time to duel. It's your time to shine. Inanimate, inanimate circuit, quarter, quarter, quarter finals. All right.